What's good? What's good? I'm back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, aka Triple P, aka the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, sport events, and much, much more. Um, today I'm gonna react to a video. Um, it's black conservative perspective reacting to it, actually. And I'm gonna react to his reaction. And he's got it titled a little too nice for my taste. It's titled Father Let's Wife Go to Pound Town with Large Black male adult star for her career and money um no th- mine's gonna be titled adam 22 let's wife get pounded by um adult male superstar or gets pounded by porn star but um uh, before we do that i want to give you a word from Dizzle premium luxury liqueur so we're going to pull up the, one of the videos right now. Me and my team are never been link up. They're going to be drink up. We sit down, relax, and have few glasses when there's things to think about. Like I'm nice with the bars when I tend to the bars and I'm not talking drink ups. So tell the bartender that tend to the bar to please pass me a big cup of. And tell the waitress is waiting on us to put a little ice in it. Now watch the ice become weightless like the spaceships that I be sitting in. No waiting, listen, no, they're waiting for that tropical twist. That'll kick in your taste buds. Now taste some. Now I insist it's the Dizzle. That's right. I really mean it. Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave, tequila, cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Just throw your Dizzle on ice, and it's nice. If you want to order your very own bottle of bottles of Dizzle premium luxury liqueur, go to DizzleBrand.com. Must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is, is included. Click on our locations. Click on one of the top three website links. I recommend Emilio's Beverage. And like I said, must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. Lo- below that is locations in California, Oklahoma, Kansas, and the number one selling state for Dizzle right now, Arkansas. And you got the hats, got the T-shirts, and more. You know, go to uh, DizzleBread.com, click on Merchandise Store, or go to um, Etsy.com, E-T-S-Y.com, search for Dizzle Brand, or go to Etsy.com forward slash Shop forward slash Dizzle Brand. And also, um, we got a new website just launched. Check out the DizzleNova.com for the new Dizzle Gummies, the Delta 8 Gummies. Um, so Dizzle Gummies, uh, DizzleNova.com. And I'm actually going to start adding that link in the description as well. And also, just so you see, I got these gloves on. Um, went to a tribute yesterday for uh, Carlos Brown. A.K. Filthy Rich from Bomb Shelter. A lot of y'all might hear um, J. Cole shout out Bomb Shelters in his interviews and whatnot. And d- he wore these gloves all the time like this when he was alive. And he might wear like a, a blue one and an orange one or different color ones. And, you know, they passed out all these gloves and whatnot. So I figured I would wear them today on the podcast as well. Yesterday was his birthday. And I just thought that was the coolest and most amazing thing about his tribute is that they were passing out gloves for everybody to wear the gloves like him. And the fact that they had so much, so many pictures of him was amazing too. So much footage, pictures and whatnot. Um, I let's get into it. Adam 22. Let's uh porn star pound his wife. break it to you guys so that you guys all know what's going on which is basically you're quitting on us bro i'm not quitting i'm not quitting but i'm going to tell you something that might blow your mind all right blow my mind then it's early enough after seven years with my girl this is not the breakup conversation i really Uh, might have sounded like that right there for a second yeah after seven years together i decided well we decided we've been having this conversation for like damn near a year okay she shot her first Ever seen without you. with another man oh, over the weekend? That shows growth. <laughs> that shows growth. That's- Meanwhile, I don't know if it shows growth. Um, I've been to a swinger club before. Swingers do have uh, 
pretty good relationships what it seemed like but it's more private it's not all like public out there and um he said i decided then he said we decided it's more like she decided let's keep it moving hey guys guess who i'm shooting with today <laughs> it's finally happening wow i did not know you were gonna do that <laughs> God's got to tell you, I heavily, heavily, heavily debated with myself about making this video because I wasn't sure if it was appropriate for what is a politically conservative channel. But I do talk a lot about social issues, okay? And maybe, just maybe, I can fit this one into social issues, but I just can't help but talk about it because I got to tell you guys, my generation, my generation, we are going to hell in a ham basket, okay? I, I think that my generation is almost just as insane as Gen Z, which is the generation that comes after me, okay? I think I'm in, I'm in the millennial generation, right? And I think Gen Z comes after my generation. We're insane, okay? And stories like this really, really, really just really irk my nerves. And it's not because of the adults that are involved in this story. It's more about the child that is going to grow up and have a terrible life, especially in school, because of the decisions of irresponsible parents. And that's why this bothers me in the same way that the issue of kids transitioning bothers me. And I just can't help but talk about it because even though I know that I'm probably not helping, I'm probably adding fuel to the fire because what these people want ultimately is attention, okay, for money. I'm, I'm, I'm basically begging, right? Begging for this video not to be released to the public because the child is going to suffer for the rest of their life because of, again, this irresponsible decision. Now, let me explain to you guys what I'm talking about here, okay? It involves two individuals that older people, right? And older members of my audience probably have no clue who they are, okay? It is Adam22 and Lena the Plug. Now, Adam22 is a podcaster, he hosts the No Jumper podcast, which is like a hip hop, pop culture pop cat podcast. Okay. And his wife is Lena the Plug, who got famous because I don't know why she got famous, right? But um, Adam 22 and Lena the Plug. She got famous uh, for basically, I'm guessing, to doing porn with him. And whatnot, and her OnlyFans, and you know, but um, yeah, this is this is crazy. Let's keep it moving. Plug. They make adult content together, okay? As well, they have an adult content production company. They typically make adult content between just them, and also Adam Twenty Two, the man. He will uh, make content with other women usually including his wife okay they have a child okay they have a child and adam 22 okay has decided that making adult content between just him his wife and other women that's not far enough right <laughs> that's not far enough that's not extreme enough he has to be more extreme for money okay and he has decided to let his wife go to pound town <laughs> right on camera with an adult male wow, pound town. star okay who happens to be a black male aka a bbc okay <laughs> and if you guys aren't familiar okay with pound town and that terminology um that's actually the name of a popular song that is going viral because a hood rat made it and is so ignorant that i'm not even gonna play the actual song i don't even want to give this person that much clout i actually let ben shapiro do his rendition of Pound Town to give you guys an idea of exactly what that song and that terminology actually means. Take a look. This is me reading the lyrics to Pound Town because it is the worst thing ever written and it is hilariously bad and I can't stop myself from laughing. Okay, you ready? Here we go. I'm out of town, thugging with my rounds, my coochie pink, my booty hole brown. We're now doing color descriptions of bodily orifices Where's the N-words? I'm looking for the hose. Quit playing, N-word. Come suck a toe. 
Mm. Indeed. Indeed. Well spent. Well said. Pound Town just left Pound Town with my N word. He took a b- down. Yeah, that N word. B- a b- down. Yeah, that N word. And it just continues along these lines. Wow. Uh, and my, my favorite part of this is where she actually opens applications for a stepfather for her child. That's my. My favorite part of this is Ben Shapiro can't rap for shit. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. <laughs> My favorite part is oh, where, where she like opens the resumes up. So she's like, uh-uh, I'm out here in Miami. Again, remember, there, the NAACP has put a travel warning on Miami for black people. So I don't even know how she's living out down here in Florida. I just don't know. I mean, obviously, she's in serious danger in Pound Town. She says, uh-uh, I'm out here in Miami looking for the hoochie daddies. Where are they at? Where are the N-words? Get that ratchet. Where are they at? My son need a new pappy. Well, that's that seems like this. This all seems like an amazing way of capturing an excellent father for your son. Yeah, and after going to Pound Town, <laughs> right, bad. with this BBC, um, this man's wife posted a photo of her, right, with the caption "Pound Town just left Pound Town." Wow. Honestly, I'm sick right now. Wow. I'm so sick right now. I am so sick for the child of these very irresponsible. Parents, I can't stand it, right? I can't stand it. It's the reason why I'm making this video. But anyways, before I get into my rant, because I'm going to go on a rant, I want to go ahead and react to Adam22, the father, trying to justify this nonsense. Because, I mean, it's sad. It really is sad. And it shows you that money really is the root of all evil, okay? It really is. I feel like Destiny might have a perspective on this. But, so I've been with my girl for Mm -hmm. seven years. We just got married. Mm -hmm. We're not in an open relationship, but... We're not in an open relationship, but again, red right. flag. We're not in an Money open talks. relationship, but Money talks. no, you are in an open relationship. You're letting another man pound your wife, right? You're letting another man clap her cheeks. <laughs> that is the definition of an open relationship. I don't know where these people come off thinking that this is something that's normal, right? Again, is this peak masculinity, right? Is this... What masculinity means to my generation, letting other men go to pound town on your wife seems to be a common occurrence. I don't know, man. I'm just saying. From a perspective, we shoot with other girls, stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But no other guys is busting her. Well, you guessed it. Over the weekend. Oh, no. Something like that happened. She filmed her first ever scene with another man. I knew you was mad. Shit. Bro, I'm so sick right now. I'm so sick, bro. I can't. I just, I can't fathom. Why Why would you do this? Why do you think that this is a good idea? Okay, you're, you're letting another man bang your wife on camera. And you're going to put it on the internet. You're going to put it on the internet. And you think this is a good idea. You have a child. You was I mean, angry. I, I agreed to it, so I was. I, I say but, angry but, might not be the word. But you was kind of like disappointed a little bit, like you <sighs> five. Like, yeah. See, again, this sounds like a situation where this woman, right, probably used the fact that she lets him do things with other women on camera as a way to guilt him into letting her <laughs> ride on a BBC that she's always wanted to ride on, right? Let her do what she want to do. And they just got married too, right? Just got married. And what did she ask for for the honeymoon, right? She asked wow. for BBC, right? For the honeymoon. Again, this is mind-blowing. You just got married. On May 29th, dog, this is what he posted on May 29th. It is now exactly a month later, right? It is June 29th, wow. and this is <laughs> and this. Yeah, I probably would have waited to marry her on that one. Probably would have waited. Uh, if you'd have waited just a whole nother month, you would have probably said, hey, whoa, let's pump the brakes on marriage. Just because you got a kid with somebody doesn't mean you have to marry him. And let me chime in real quick. I'm a laws of nature guy. So, as a laws of nature guy, do I believe that you're supposed to stay faithful one person? No, because the laws of nature doesn't say that. You know, um, animals procreate with multiple um, 
of the animals. Uh, but for the sakes of them having a child, like uh, Mr. Greg Foreman here is saying, the black conservative perspective, I have to agree, for the sakes of having a child, it's not a good look. This is what she's doing, <laughs> talking about get your calendars marked, right? Get your calendars marked, which, I mean, again, I got to ask myself, you make a lot of money with your podcast, bro. Is it really worth it to do this type of stuff? Is it really worth it, <laughs> right? Is it really worth it? I mean, it, it's the... And let me chime in, not just the podcast, the adult entertainment, the OnlyFans, um, you know... The they probably booking appearances, you know, people paying for like booking appearances, like strip clubs and clubs, and paying for walkthroughs and come through for after parties. And that's the thing when you're a celebrity face, like when I realize rappers could get paid just to like walk through the club, just to do a walkthrough, they just got to walk through. They only got to stay. It's like, what? It's crazy. Keep it moving. Money worth it. Seriously. Is, is, is selling your soul like this worth it? Is selling your wife like this worth it? And again, in a normal situation, I would never talk about a subject like this. I'm only talking about it because of the effect long term that it's going to have on their child. I feel just so bad. I feel so bad. Okay. That, that's why I, I'm just so, again, I'm just like, wow, I can't. I just can't believe this. I mean, my mind is so blown right now. And the problem is they're not going to realize this until they're older. And then they'll realize that, oh, man, this wasn't a good idea. Reminds me of Kim Kardashian broke down in tears and started crying, calling Kanye when their son stumbled across or allegedly stumbled across Kim's sex tape <laughs> that she failed back in the day with Ray J or some advertisement for it or something like that on Roblox. It's okay which nobody i didn't even know who she was before that no no ha nobody hardly they knew the name kardashian from the oj simpson trial but i didn't even really even know it from that because I, I didn't even pay attention to the trial that deep okay it's okay it's not okay though it's not you know on roblox you know say it was on roblox yesterday and a thing popped up and he started laughing and I was like mommy look and it was a picture of my cry face and it was a game that someone made of Roblox and it said Kim's new sex tape when you clicked on it thank god he can't read yet and it's like over my dead body is this shit gonna happen to me again I just want it gone like well that's the problem with the internet once it's out there, it's out there, you know. Um, yeah. This, you get what you ask for. I think, and also Greg Foreman is not really touching on the fact that she's going to want to do more um, films with other guys as well. This is probably going to lead to a downfall in their relationship, their marriage, and all that. Um, it's not like they're swingers. Everybody knows swingers. It's like you go to private swinger clubs. I've been to one before and it was one of the most amazing times I ever had. And it definitely gave me a different perspective on relationships. You know, like you got to really, you know, just be honest and open and, and pretty much blunt with the whole, through the whole relationship. Unless a little bit more play, and then um, we're going to end it out. It's it's sad. It really is. All right, cut that show sick. You know, I agree to it. She gave me a lot of outs on the way in. Like, yeah. she kind of kept telling me, like, if you don't want me to, I won't do it. You, you should know? say no. I, I, well, I, she wanted to do it, right? Even the fact that she even asked, was it your idea? Like, did you come to the table what, with yeah, this? Yeah, it wasn't his idea. Because no I'm pretty sure idea. you didn't come to the table. It's like, hey, you know, I, you know, I think it's a great, great idea. For you to bounce on a BBCO camera, right? That's a great idea. You should do that, right? That is going to be great for our kids, okay? When they go to school, they definitely won't be picked on by other children and their lives won't be ruined because this is going to be on the internet forever and other kids are going to see it and then they're going to turn around and, and pick on our kid because, you know, 
their mom is getting pounded out by another man on camera. It's already bad enough that you're filming what you're doing and you're putting it on the internet for the world to see, right? But it's even worse when then you have other people involved like this. This is insane. This is insanity, man. I said that I wanted her to do it. I'm like, on top of millions of dollars, Adam, you didn't have to do that shit. Fair enough. But I, I told on, her, uh, I'm like, I think you should do it. Let's let's get it out right, the way. So how, how do you five about it now? She's 32. Do I need to get you an old English? No, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't need to drown the pain in the okay. old English. Uh, but I was kind of surprised because I feel like I can like intellectualize it, and okay. from my perspective, I don't think it should be a big deal. Yeah. But then after she actually did it, I'm not going to lie, I did feel kind of odd. You, know? you were sick, right? You were sick. Like any uh, other man would be, you were on. sick. Hold on. A Hold F. on. Hold on. He's... <laughs> he said, after she bounced on a BBC like a trampoline, I felt odd. <laughs> odd. Odd wasn't the word you were thinking. Mad as shit, upset, jealous as fuck, second guessing it, questioning it, all those things. Except odd. <laughs> this guy, odd. Okay. It start in Fermo. Okay. <laughs> the same way Destiny was sick, where he let abba dance with his woman on camera in front of everybody okay do the salsa with her and then try to play it off like oh man it, it, it's no big deal yeah. <laughs> right it's no big deal abba said be easy be easy right? be easy we just dancing okay <laughs> these guys these internet dudes that are my age <laughs> i can't relate man I can't relate to this. I really can't. A little bit of that feeling in, in the belly, See, you know? Like, God like, like, yeah. oh, damn, man. like, God damn, like, God like, God damn, like, God damn, like, God damn, like, God damn, like, Yeah. You know what? I heard enough. Uh, you know what's crazy is that... He had to, he had to come out and announce it to, on the thing. Because... Then it would have been more shocking if he didn't. It would have been more shocking. People would have probably really been even more batshit crazy. They're probably already going batshit. I know people already having all types of things to say about this one. Um, Adam22 decides a month after the wedding, hey, honey, you know, I got a great idea. You know, actually, that's the thing. We know he didn't decide it. We know he didn't say, hey. You know, how about you go and do a porn with a BBC, go bounce on it, BBC like a trampoline? No, um, that was her wanting to do it. She's going, and that's the thing. This is just probably started uh, her, her appetite. She's going to want to do more. She That's the thing. She wants to be a porn star. And you can't be much of a porn star, I don't think, with the same person all the time. Maybe if they never showed Adam 22. And just always showed her, like that um, chick, the start of us. But um, yeah, man, this is crazy. Um, say goodbye to their marriage. Um, he's really going to be even more upset when he sees the actual video he's gonna be more jealous upset second guessing questioning it um wishing he didn't agree to it <laughs> so there you go adam 22 decides a month after the wedding let his wife get pounded by a bbc okay what can i say the world is batshit crazy no my bad my bad the world is odd the world is odd. <laughs> Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in, Paul Pickett Podcast, and I'm out.